of time. Uh, we are starting the session uh, straight away. Uh, our esteemed keynote speaker is already here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this session is about the success strategies for the India semiconductor industry. Mr. Lip Bhutan, the CEO of Cadence, and uh, he's also the founder and chairman of uh, Walden International, a leading venture capital firm. As we are all aware, way back in 1985, Mr. Libbu introduced and pioneered the U.S. venture capital concept in Asia. He is on the board of uh, several companies. So, ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, please put your hands together and let's welcome Mr. Lip Bhutan for his uh, keynote address. It's straight away over to you, sir. For the next 30 minutes, we'll have a 20 minutes uh, talk by the esteemed personality and then 10 minutes of Q&A. Over to you. Morning. And uh, I'm delighted uh, to be here. Uh, I arrived uh, 5.30 this morning uh, from San Francisco, and I'm always delighted to be in Bangalore. And then uh, immediately I swim and exercise and then uh, get ready to come here. And uh, so I'm delighted to be here. Thank you for inviting me, uh, IESA, and I'm delighted to be uh, sharing some of my experience with all of you. So first of all, um, you know, the, I born in Malaysia educated in Singapore. Uh, my undergrad is physics. Then I thought that the energy problem is a bigger problem. So I did my graduate school at the nuclear engineering. And uh, then I worked for uh, you know, combustion engineering in our factory. And then, then I started my own first startup when I'm 21 years old. And uh, on the software for nuclear. Now today the industry still use my software. And I'm delighted with that. And then the, in uh, 84, I decided to be a venture capitalist. And uh, all I managed to raise is uh, 3 million from my father-in-law, uh, Singapore government, and a couple of friends. That's how I got started. And uh, being an entrepreneur, I never give up. And so over 20 years, I built up to 2 billion industry uh, fund that I manage. And um, over the years, I also uh, create a couple of, uh, try to introduce the venture capital concept into Asia Pacific. And uh, sometimes you tell people that you give me the money, I manage for you. And uh, if we make money, we share 80, 20. And then uh, you know, you don't lose money, you just keep quiet. And uh, this concept, you know, people thought that you're crazy. And, uh, but somehow you get, get motivated and then get uh, peripheral across the whole Asia. And I started in Taiwan, actually. I started in 87. I uh, convinced the government to put money and also all the industry leader, uh, the Yilong, the largest automotive company. And, um, and then same thing in Singapore, I started you know, with EDB and all the four largest banks and also the government become a major investor. And I also invite all the global industry leader to join me. Then, rather than bore you, I go into Malaysia uh, with the government in Malaysia, then Philippines, you know, the, you know, Hong Kong, in Australia, and then 1996, you know, we start the India operation. And so, you know, I love, you know, learn the country, uh, being humble, and then build uh, the company, and I enjoy building company. So that's kind of uh, my journey to the venture capital side. And then over the years, you know, the, I built some of the uh, strong uh, leadership in the IT company. In Singapore, I think most of you know that I helped start it and create uh, creative technology, and, uh, and I took the company to go public, uh, Goldman Sachs help, and then I took it public in the U.S. And then in Malaysia, and I helped build uh, Job Street, a little bit like in the U.S., the monster.com, a uh, couple of MIT you know, graduates, and I came from MIT, so I love those young kids, and uh, so I thought, well, that model seemed like exciting. So we built the Job Street, you know, went public nicely, uh, we built the Unisam, the largest uh, packaging company, IC packaging company. And at one time, I owned almost uh, the, you know, 25% of the company, and it took a public nicely in Malaysia. Then in Australia, you know, before Google started up, you know, we invest a company called Look Smart. Some of you may be familiar with Look Smart. It's the you know, early day of search engine. And uh, you know, that company, uh, we make 100 times return, uh, one of the, my best return on that one. Then over time, we built a Taiwan company. Uh, some of you have the scanner called UMAX, and uh, Frank Huang, I back him, uh, turned out to be the number two largest in the world. 
uh, D-Link, if you do the network gear at home, you will see a lot of D-Link box. And that's why we backed that. And then a few years later on, I started in China and built a couple of really uh, pioneering uh, in the internet. Uh, Sina, the largest Chinese porter. And uh, today they have about 450 million uh, Weibo. Weibo is like the Facebook, Twitter, and also the government official uh, porter and uh, in a public listed. And uh, SMIC, the largest Weibo fab and, uh, in Taiwan, uh, in China, and doing very well. And then Auto Navy is a navigation chipset. Uh, almost in any cell phone, you have uh, Auto Navy software embedded inside. And of course, I'm so proud uh, 10 years ago and then back the team from my tree. And uh, you know, it's a fabulous team that I enjoy working with them. And right now, it's in our market cap is 600 plus million. And uh, 10 years working with them is just a first class team that I enjoy with. And then the last two years, I worked with uh, Ghani at the Cosmic Circuit. And uh, we're delighted. And uh, now the IP side is part of Cadence and uh, exciting. So, all in all, I enjoy building company, and there's many more I'm, work, I'm working on and building. And then, uh, and then lately, I've been a lot of activity in, in India, and I'd love to come here more often. Uh, this morning, the first thing I drop after my exercise, I have my favorite uh, dosa. And, uh, you know, everywhere I go, I just love the dosa. Uh, the last 10 years, I decided to really focus on semiconductor. And clearly, the system on the chip uh, is fundamental, the heart of everything, or the beautiful design. And, and uh, I invest about 55 semiconductor company across all different areas, from power management, mixed signal, to WiMAX, uh, you know, the LTE, you know, to broadband, navigation, video. You know, Ambarilla just went public uh, in the US at the end of the last year. Terrella is a many core. Uh, we're shipping uh, 64 core, and then now we're taping out 72 core. And, uh, and uh, theoretically, we can go all the way to 500 core. Uh, this is a company I spin off from MIT. Uh, I'm on the advisory board of Dean of Engineering. And so finally, I managed to spin off one from MIT uh, to commercialize it. And so this kind of thing that I enjoy doing and uh, is having a lot of fun. And uh, you know, the lady, I will tell you some of the, share with you some of my activity in India uh, already started. 